This is a very quick tutorial to show you how to set up a Google sitemap and then uh, submit it to Google Webmaster Tools. Now, why is this important for SEO? Well, it's because once you do this, it basically provides Google with an index of all your existing and future pages. And once you submit it to Google Webmaster Tools, it allows Google itself to crawl your website better, index, and rank all the content that you have on it. So any existing content that you have will be ranked faster. Any future content and pages that you create will also be ranked and indexed a lot faster. So this is a really, really cool tool to use, and it's free, and I'm just going to show you how it works right now. So real quick, I'm going to uh, show you how one of my uh, sitemaps looks like. This is for a new site that I recently started working on. See, it says XML sitemap, and it gives you this index. Now, all I really have to do is just submit this link to Google Webmaster Tools. But if you've never created a sitemap before, let me just show you how to do this on a new site that I have. I'm going to go to this is a new page that I have. It's a, it's a WordPress website. And if you have a WordPress website, just follow along with this tutorial. And if you don't have a WordPress website, uh, go to this link, which says uh, XML-sitemaps.com. You just enter your URL there, and then you click Start, and it'll give you the uh, sitemap that you need. You're going to take that link, and you're going to to put it into Google Webmaster Tools, but I'm going to use the WordPress option for this uh, video. Anyway, I'm going to go into my website's dashboard, and in the dashboard, I'm going to uh, go to uh, Plugins, and I'm going to click on Add New. Now, once I click on Add New, I'm going to type in XML Sitemaps, and I'm going to wait for this to load. And once this loads, I'm going to want to choose the first option. There's actually a number of options you can choose. It's a free plugin, but the one that I want is the Google XML Sitemaps. Now, since I already have this one installed, I'm not going to really show it, but this would basically say install. You click on that, and once it would install, it would say activate. Then you click on activate, and once that's activated, you're actually going to find it here. Uh, you're actually going to find it in your dashboard. So once this is installed, this is Google XML Sitemaps by Arnie Brochold, five-star rating. Uh, you go to settings. This will pop up. It'll say Google uh, XML Sitemaps. You click on that, and once you click on that, it's going to take you to a page which will actually show you the link to your sitemap. It's going to basically create a new page, and this is going to be it. Now, once you click on that, this is basically what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take the link that I get, and at the very end of it, it's going to say sitemap.xml. So, for example, if you create a sitemap, it's going to basically say HTTP, your website, whatever your existing website is right now. Let's do that, forward slash sitemap.xml. So... This is your existing website. It doesn't matter, just enter your website name over here. But after you create a sitemap, it's going to add this snippet to it. It's going to say sitemap.xml. This little snippet is what you want to copy and take and put into Google Webmaster Tools. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Webmaster Tools itself, which is right here. I'm going to click on Search Console. I'm going to go into this, uh, this site that I was uh, doing the uh, sitemap for. Now, it's empty right now because the site is new, so this is a normal thing to see. But I'm going to scroll down to where it says sitemaps, and it says no sitemaps. Why submit a sitemap? All you have to do is click on this box over here. And what's going to happen is it's going to say add test sitemap. You click on that, and see it says my website, forward slash, just like I showed you over here. And this little snippet, like I said before, that's going to pop up after you create a sitemap, you just add it in, paste. And then you click on submit and it's going to say submitted. Now if you did this correctly, it's going to be submitted well. If there's any errors, Google will let you know about it, but once it's done, it's going to basically take all your existing pages, all your uh, new content that you put up in the form of new pages, and it's going to update the sitemap every single time, and it's going to be directly associated with Google. Google will know about it a lot faster. They'll rank your posts better. They'll rank it faster. They'll index it faster. Without this, it would take uh, basically like weeks for any new post that you have to index and rank on Google. This is uh, much faster. It can happen within hours. So you're saving yourself a lot of time. It's helping Google get a closer look to your website, and it's basically helping its SEO improve. So with that said, if there's any questions that you have about setting up a, a sitemap for your page, let me know below. And uh, if not, thank you for watching this video and have a great one.